Join us to talk about synchronizing Facebook and Twitter with Marika and CJ. Hi, it's Marika, and I'm going to teach you how to use Facebook. I'm just going to teach you a couple things that a few people ask me about often. And my mother is doing the tutorial with me, and her name is CJ. Say hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I wanted to just show you what Facebook is all about as far as your profile between your profile and your home page because a lot of people get confused with that. Your profile is your wall and all your information. You can see this on the side over here. I don't know if the cursor is moving, but uh, right below the profile picture you will see information and you, the network that you're in and all that kind of stuff. The networks are different than what area that you choose. You can choose a different network than what area. A lot of people get confused with that as well. Okay, so now we're going to go to home. And for some reason I don't have a hold of her cursor. I'm using cross loop which allows me to get into someone's computer to help them learn different things about the computer and now I see it moving so that's great. I'm gonna click on home it's a little slow on my end because we're using two computers to get on one profile. <laughs> okay, so now we're on her home page. Home page is basically where you see all your feeds, you see applications, which is something I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about how you can synchronize your Twitter and your Facebook together. There's a lot of things that you can do with Facebook and other places like YouTube and even Plaxo, but we're just going to talk about Twitter right now. Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so let's go down to applications. Click on that, and then we're going to go to find more. These are all of my mom's ap applications. These are normally the ones that everyone has, but there's tens of thousands of applications you can choose. So let's go to find more. Okay, this is your applications page and it shows just random ones that come up when you click on applications. However, you want to go here in the search if you're searching for something particular, in particular. And you want to go to here if you want to see what most active users are using. So if there's a lot of users on one application, this is the place you would go just to be nosy and see what other people are using. And we can click on that and see what that looks like. Okay, so these are all the things that people are particularly using on Facebook. And I use this one and I use Top Friends, but it's hidden right now. But those are those are popular ones. And we're going to go up here to search and put in Twitter. And if you don't know what Twitter is, then go to www.twitter.com. T-W-I-T-T-E-R.com. It's a really good site for your business to let people know uh, what you are doing and what kind of business you have. And sending out different feeds is basically like a message board of your business activities. I use it for business only. Facebook's a little bit personal and I use it for personal uses. Mom, what do you use Facebook for? Business. 
business. Yes, my mom's a realtor, so she's probably got tens of thousands of realtors on her Facebook. Okay, so now we're going to click in here. My mom and I both have Twitter, so this is really important to us. Okay. So, now, these are different Twitter applications you can use. This shows that only 1,203 active, uh, monthly active users come on here. Now, here is the one I chose because it's 163,000. I always look at the numbers because you can find your friends on there and it'll synchronize everything. So let's click on that. Now what this application is going to do is when you decide to write something on Twitter, it will go on Facebook too. It won't do it the other way around, unfortunately, but it will do it if you have a Twitter account and you want to synchronize everything, you can do it that way. If you just want it for Facebook and Twitter, there are applications for a genre of different sites, but social networking sites, but we're just going to focus on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so I see mom has a few friends, oh, about 34 friends right here that share Twitter with her and has the application on their page. Just my mom doesn't right now. We're going to get it on there. So you're going to click go to application right at the top where my pointer is and click on that and when you click on application it, it's really courteous to become a fan so become a fan too and I'll go back to that page and do that but you want to become a fan when you you use people's applications it's just a nice courteous thing to do okay so now we're gonna click allow allow is just allowing the info to synchronize on your page. Okay, so right here, my mom is going to put in her, well, it's a drop down list. She's gonna, uh, you gave her, oh, that, right? That's not the username. Oh, yeah, that's not. Well, maybe you could put in the username because my thing is slow. We're just there. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay, drop down list. And uh, Firefox tends to save all your information like that, so you can do the drop down list if you've got Twitter. Okay, so now my mom's going to put in her password, but she's not going to tell you what it is, unfortunately. It's good to change your password every two weeks, or at least once a month, because there are hackers on Facebook, but not as many as there are on MySpace. But there are some, and they will spam your wall or other people's wall from your account, which is not good. So, And uh, we'll be in in a second so I can show you the rest of how to use a Twitter application on Facebook.